almost six or seven times they played Mirage and have not won it a single time. Could they do it today? I wouldn't put it past them. I'm sure they expected it in the veto, and things have clearly improved in some aspects for Team Liquid, but Inferno looks so dominant from Furia. We'll have to just sit, watch, and find out. Buckle up, kids. It's gonna be a good one. Grim from beneath the palace, the first man to die. Henny also with a quick kill, so it's three casualties versus Liquid on this A site. Very successful from Furio right away. Going right back into that T aggression from Inferno. Smoke grenade fades in the face of Stewie. He does have one kill to his name already. Make that a second. Now he's going to be starting to push in, trying to clear as many corners as he can. He now knows where both these players are at, but Art puts him down. Furia find the first round. It is the T-side pistol round win. A strong opener here for Furia. They'll grab that pistol round. They'll be feeling pretty good. Again, this just first to 16. First two maps don't matter anymore. It all comes down to Mirage. Instant buy up here for Team Liquid. Two scouts in play, one on Stewie, one on Naf. We'll see where they push off of. I think Pimp called to Elyse for a performance. Maniac looked at Nafly. See both of those being win conditions here for Liquid. Well, Naf walks into this one with the scout, as does Stewie. Nothing in middle versus Furia here. They are just sitting pretty. Stewie and Grim, best friends. Over, uh, always on B-side together. The combo. Grim has had nothing but positive things to say about Stewie in terms of helping him get acclimated to higher levels of competition and more team structure. And, you know, I mean, he's been given enough room to shine. Consistent stats. He's gotten so many kills so far on every, basically every single map. His last map was the worst of the tournament, but that was really a team effort to a loss. It was really hard to put it down to maybe one or two players. That being said, it did have a lot to do with Banana and Grim and, and Stewie kind of taking turns dying. Um, but I would like to, I'd like to know what they thought as to why they were not able to hold. I think it had a lot to do with the great utility usage by Furia. But they start to move now into B. Good damage coming out of the first few shots of Team Liquid in Grim's position. Catches one by surprise. Twist dies. K Serato's headshots, that's what is absolutely key. There is a long flank coming through the apartments from Elyse. But Henny, he finds a headshot. And Elyse is so outnumbered. But that is a bit of an opening. He's got Henny over behind the arch, and these two T's are already low, as is Elyse as of now. Henny able to slide out from that first corner of cover, and they're going to use Grimm's position against them. K. Serato takes the boost to ensure the post plant. Furia finding a second. You do love to see that. That was definitely the ace in the hole boost up in the site, even though low HP, really weird angle for Elyse to clear if he does. Would have to be a huge read by him, so they had that locked up. And just as you're saying, it was just where Grimm was. They went up top. Very clean rifle kills here from K. Serato, looking super sharp. Shades of overpass with him. He was so critical on that map. Even though, I mean, even though Liquid ended up ended up winning by a narrow margin on a map they weren't even favored to win. Oof! Always awkward. They're gonna try to get themselves out of the underpass. Art will come through. Nice crosshair placement kill on a leash who's standing kind of on an off angle out in the open on the balcony. Naf and Twist get punished after taking damage coming out of underpass. And it's just a complete aim map here as all of the CTs get melted like a cheese stick in the microwave. You bring that up like it's your special. Food. I really, that's like one of my favorite things to make as a kid was to put a cheese stick in the microwave. Yeah. And sometimes I didn't even eat it. I was such a messy kid. I would just put it in the microwave and just watch it melt and go in circles. And then I think it probably did some, it's probably, it's probably caused me some brain damage at this point. But uh, I've watched many cheese sticks spin around in microwaves melt down into kind of a plate formation, right? And then I would take yeah. it and break it. I would let it get hard too, <laughs> cool it down. And then I'd break it and eat this plate cheese string that got flattened in the microwave. It was like a movie and a dinner. It That's how I looked at it. So much. Let's see if Team Liquid can find a solution to what has been a flying start from Furia. It's guns up, of course, for them. 
A top mid battle taken upon by a liege. One and done. Okay, Serato trades it. Furia just sitting outside of this A site. We saw Vinny just walk out from Palace last round after Art had made the initial contact. Art's gonna take that bomb, throw it behind him, put the pressure on somebody else to plant. Now becomes Yuri's task. And Vinny, yet again, looking to walk out from Palace. But you know what? He's gonna buy his time a little bit until his teammates are out here in the open. And because of the smokes, there's no angle being found by Liquid at all. All of the remaining utility, other than Vinny's last flash just thrown, is here for Team Liquid. Art's gonna try and challenge the CT spawn. He gets caught off by oh. Twists, but Twists misses the kill, and that gives Art a chance. However, Grim, despite him finding a little bit of success, is then traded out by Yuri. Stewie off of the staircase. 2v2 ensues, and Stu has 27 health to find these final Furia Fraggers. Oh, that's a hell of a headshot into Vinny. Taps the bomb. K Serato plays with the corner of it. And Stewie hitting it again, trying to get him into the open. It's so little health, but so little time. Stewie has to concede. And Furia finding four. Damn. Couldn't have really played that better if you're Serato, And I think Stewie's attempt made a lot of sense. Just really needed to punish that first peak and got a couple of bullets off. But K Serato had some HP to spare. Here, I like the simplicity of the game plan, you know? They just go for the trades at mid, early in the passive default, they punish the aggressiveness, and then this is the probably the kill that makes or breaks the round, right? Unfortunate that Twist cannot hit that. It's funny because he has an angle that they can't, he can't, they can't see him that well, but his vision is obviously a bit shrouded as well with the details of the metal in front of him and stuff like that, but either way, it's one that he's going to be mad at himself for not grabbing. And they just move into an A exec uh, off of that and trade out effectively. A few rounds ended at A already here for Furia. What will they do on the anti-eco? Again, it seems like a lot of people are cat splitting these days on anti-ecos. Grim started to push up aggressively. Naf gets punished walking out of connector. That AK is still floating around. Catwalk for Stewie. Grim's... Oh, Ooh, hey! That was, yeah. that was a nice shot. What is that? Oh, and another pistol kill coming in for Team Liquid. This is not too late to save the day. We'll see if they can deliver. Alige going to miss a couple of deagle shots. Stewie 2K from Catwalk has found success with the AK. Vinny's on top of the Tetris. And he's trying to fall back, but he doesn't want to just leave his teammate stranded. Everybody's over here for Liquid now. But Furia, they don't fade away. They stick to this. Fall silent. Vinny on the op. Let's see what you can do. Misses the first shot. Player jump spotting him in CT. Could eventually just jump up. Yeah, but he's so worried about a liege. Grim's on the staircase, big flank coming out of Stewie, starts walking at the perfect moment. Oh god, he actually took an extra step here. It doesn't seem like it's been hurt though. Oh, oh, they're, oh they're gonna come up for the clear, Vinny gets the kill. Still two on three, situ uh, 10 seconds left. He's, uh, no Stewie was totally fine to push that. He gets the info, and that can just lock in and basically they only have to worry about the A site. They're looking to save. So at least there's something. What just happened there? Re recount the... Grim pushes through B Apartments, gets the CZ kill. A liege over on the A site knocks one down as well. That's the five versus three. There was a late lurk play, but that gets canceled out from the one AK Liquid walked into the round with right here. Once that happens, I mean, we saw those last two players get stranded on ramp. Right. And then they're just pretending, basically, thinking that they could potentially get some lucky kills, but no mistakes will be made. No, nothing significant. Liquid not exactly enthused after just winning that round. Still down 4-1 to one and tied 1-1 one, one in the series. Scary scenes here for Team Liquid trying to come up with a historic win here on Mirage. They'll fall out of mid quickly. There's a player pushed inside of the cat smoke. He eats a flash. I'm not sure if it was designed for him, but, you know, if it's just covering mid, that makes a lot of sense. And this is Art looking to instantly press in towards window. They had two players there maintaining a crossfire to stop it, and eventually we'll get that kill. It's wild how Art makes himself look like multiple players all at the same time. Right. You know, he's jumping up into the window, immediately vent off here to the side of connector. 
all for the information, right? He gets a two two players spotted inside the window. He gets one spotted on A, and look, Furio start to lean over towards the B site with that knowledge. He's not some one cell organism. I wonder what Caserato's part in the plan is here. Yuri can easily peel back. Henny looks to be coming up towards Cat, and I think the split is on. And again, Team Liquid have calcified in their defenses haven't really moved from these positions yep. at all and one of the questions on the desk was can grim perform as a b anchor okay here's the here's the rotation that's key i think there's a smart move from stewie we saw some of their rotations from team liquid were leaning towards a like but him leaving opens this route for Ooh. yuri and henny well he's taking a player off oh, the a site that draws everything oh. back yuri through jungle taking down twists naf's chance now he's got a player up close and he takes him from the sky 10 seconds to deny that plant if he can k serato's gonna stick the digits and the bullets go sailing through the boxes then the opera drops. Henny trying to play closer over to Tetris, and everybody alive for Liquid is here on Ticket Booth. Henny trying to find an angle, but it's Caserato with the headshot. Nice flash coming in. Grim trying to fight, but that bomb in open sight. And so how do the CTs get around it? They've got another flashbang, and Grim's hanging on to the kit, but Henny just skewers the first and re-peaks for another. Nicely done by Henny, man. That's insane. He actually grabs those two easily. And the positions in the post plan are really strong for Furia. Henny at Apex, a player on the bench, one in connector. They have a lot of outs in, in terms of trades, and that's not even the only two kills that Henny gets on the round. This is a beautiful round from Yuri, all the space he created, and it looked like that Furia were going to commit up for the cat split and combine with Vinny to attack the site versus just Grim. Stewie moves his way over. But then instead, Yuri finds this opening into the window. I don't even know how he found that. But that just seems like the lay of the land when it comes to Furia. They are always scouring for map control and taking risks where other teams wouldn't. Another one being formulated here on the B site. Art, Ooh, that, big pickup. That's a power play right there. Grim's head popped. Art has smokes to work around. He just took a bit of damage. Stewie's coming in from Arch. This could be it. <gasps> Art can see him over top of this smoke. Oh Will he notice him God. is the question. That is actually such a sick position from Art. Art sees a bunch of stuff, but can't actually do anything oh. until now. Will find Nap on his exit. Twists answers. That's from the marketplace. Stewie still with a bit of cover, but he misses his shot. Does Art get pulled into this? Stewie hitting it into case Serato. Elise is going to deliver with the fire at his feet and Vinny in through mid. It's a clean sweep for Furia in the 3v3. Just a cluster of kills from Furia. They handle everything. What a play from Art. First of all, just winning the 50 50 with Grim. That's enough, right? He's alone on the site. They, they give him the keys because they know he's always going to perform. And here, Art shows him a different story and then getting on top of the bench off of the smoke is just insane he can see stewie if he's holding the angle doesn't know that stewie's at that pillar in that moment but then finds another kill off the smoke and who is clearing up top in a position like that when's the last time you've seen someone get on top to the top of the bench in a position like arts and here at least nafly in the following round picks up a nice eagle kill but we don't know if they're just consolation frags Furia, not scared at all in the 4v5. Always have a plan. We came into this series saying how if anybody was going to know how to solve a CT side from Liquid, with them having two BO3s of impeccable, impeccable defensive halves, yeah. it was going to be Furia. And oh man, have they delivered. Three maps in a row, stellar T halves from Furia. And this one only halfway deep, but Team Liquid drowning in the water. Oh, Jesus. He heard those footsteps. Vinny's going to lay down the Molotov and remove himself from the danger. Henny was getting closer, of course, from spawn, just making sure nobody's gone exploring down the ramp from Liquid. And eventually, Art and Caserato are going to come join them. So very much an a site split with Stewie and Grimm removed from the equation. It's on the other three members of Team Liquid, and they have so little to fight back with. And yet, here we are. Damage being done to Art, and it's Vinny to make the difference. At least initially, a leash traded out by Henny. It does buy a little bit of time so that Stewie and Grim can come over. But with a bomb plant down on default soon enough, and still just deagles to play with, 
It's asking a lot of the B players from Liquid. Henny's op sings yet again, and Stewie's drop by the sidearm. An excellent seventh round for Furia. And there's an opening kill. A nice couple of kills by the Deagles, but again, that's all it is. Just some utility or some overall equipment value knocked off the board. About 10k in those two kills for what it's worth. But Liquid just need rounds. They're getting absolutely dominated here uh, by these strong starts on by Furia. Both Inferno and Mirage. And he will have an op in this round to go up against the two ops with Stewie and Naf. And it is a fast B. They're coming in relentlessly running through, but Stewie's here to try to stand tall with his AWP, and he'll fall back. Grim's the man who takes the second. So suddenly, Furia come to a grinding halt. They just tried to simplify things, smash into the B site. They've given themselves enough wiggle room to take a bit of a risk here in the ninth. Just trying to keep themselves fresh before Team Liquid could even really net a solution. Well, it's a much nicer round from Stewie. Yes. Get that opening kill. Really just kind of instant transmit to the back of the site with Grim there as a fallback plan and on the van. And because they're doing the running exec, they're not throwing quite as many grenades. They could they could have mollied out Grim in that spot on van. That would be normal. But they might have wanted to take over control of it. Smoke plumes in their face as well, so... Here's a spot where Liquid, they really, on merit, just win easily. But I mean, I guess they're, you know, they're still looking to have a go of it. The bomb is within reach, even if it's not in their hands, and Henny is coming up cat, scot-free. No one's here to clear him. They don't seem to know, I guess they don't seem to have vision on the bomb right now, so there's not full rotates over here. They're going to hear the scope. Okay, and Stewie will find another kill on the round. Three for him so far. Now oh, he's looking for the cold Zera. Yeah, but Grim's got it. So we do find Liquid with a little bit more success. Definitely Stewie, who stands tall this round. Puts the op to the apartments instantly. Good boost up. Hoop. And then, of course, Grim delivered a kill right from behind the van as Stewie came in with this one as well. How do you pronounce that? Tortue. It means turtle. turtle. And if you check out Stewie's gloves right here, that is absolutely factory new. Those are the best quality red Tortue gloves I have ever seen. Oh, okay. And, and now that you see everybody else who also has them, you're going to notice the tears. It's like three pairs on Liquid alone. Stewie right back to what worked last round. Grim assists with the frag grenade. And Stewie, well, he hits the second shot, but it's through the ledge. Grim, it is your time to deliver players right on the other side of the smoke. Vinny in question. The man who was hit by Stewie standing up and finding success despite the lower HP, but now it's a liege who works around bench and gets one step closer. Twists and nap on rotate, trying to come into the mix. Elige now his gun's gone dry. He is an absolute compromised position. Caserato's trying to find him through the smoke, and he will. But it's not a second off the spray down. Naf, despite connecting the op shot, gives them a moment to leave. Yeah. And they grasp it with both hands. And this is just Henny knows exactly what to do in this position. They run away so quickly. Henny can cut off the rotation through CT. Yuri, he can plant on the other side of the box, and they're totally safe. And Nafli will have an impossible task here in the 1v2 retake. Isn't even going to go for the spam in this situation. Jumping through to connector. USPL looking to basically get flanked here by Henny. The information is all Furia's. Now they are low, but it looks like Nafli isn't exactly sure of even where the first player is. And his back is so exposed to Henny. He's assuming it's the ramp post plant, not the case. Now that they've given him nothing, he just wants to save. Yeah, and then he's just not going to want to let Ooh. him, but we'll see if he can actually does catch he this. Yes, he does. Getting to lower. Okay, he actually gets away with the gun. It seems like it. Yeah, and he's just going to cancel. Go go to the top mid. But actually very lucky. Doesn't realize how lucky he is to be able to hang on to this op for what it's worth. But here is the interesting situation. So far, Fury's game plan, it's been a lot of very simple stuff, right? Just full takes on A, full takes on B. They haven't even always gone down mid for the kills. Um, 
There's, I mean, I guess there's just been a, a lot of good variety in their game plan, but they're just not shy to full execute on one site or the other. And Vinny, it's just this, this, this micro duel, I guess you could call it, where Vinny fights Grim at the van. Van Grim knows they're going to peek him because they have in the past, but Vinny's still prepared to punish him for being in that spot, and Vinny ends up winning. And Stewie, he hit his shots last round. Despite not getting the kills because of the wall bangs, goes right back at it here. That is three rounds in a row where Stewie opens up with the op in apartments. He misses what would have been a slick jump. But again, wounding I the members of Furia. It's art down to 12 this time. So here's another situation where Vinny gets critical information. He heard them in Palace and that one push came back and called him out. Here he's bringing his teammates forward and I think he knows that there is a close A ramp setup. So let's see what Fury's approach is with this information. See if they throw a flash to cancel out twists. If they peek it. It should be his. He's good for the first one. And oh no, accidental team kill from Yuri. Alige closes with an easy spray down. Liquid have found a third. It is not the masterclass defensive half that we've seen from them since their arrival in Europe. But there is still time to improve here. There is no second chance. This is the final map with elimination on the line. The final match. It's very nice. <laughs> um... Stewie's not had the best couple of maps coming into this, but his B holds now are a little bit stronger. Furia might be trying to lean on him for that reason, but now we're getting punished for it. We're coming back over to A, we know Twist and, and Elige are, have such good close ARAM setups that are strong, and it looked like even with Vinny's information of where they were, they were able to win their duels. Nice adjustment here from Twist. Absolutely. Vinny and Yuri, they're going to come out from ramp. Keep your eyes on Art. He's already managed to get out through Connector, but it actually gets caught by Stu. Henny and Yuri fighting tooth and nail from ramp. But we've got Team Liquid starting to solidify on the CT side, at least a little bit more so than what Furia would have hoped for. Remember how absolutely one-sided the offensive half was on Inferno. I feel like that's what Furia were shooting for yet again. Goes for a jump onto the bomb <laughs> site. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit desperate, but so be it. Not like Yuri could really lend a helping hand. Yeah, that's interesting. Yuri's alone. It's going to be a long save. Lonely walk here through the spawn. This is the absolute best place to stand to look at your print stream. That's one thing I learned. Have you? Not oftentimes <laughs> I take a skin and then I go into a part of the map. But a print stream there at just the corner of Inferno in direct sunlight is when it looks the absolute best. Just got to find that perfect lighting, huh? Yeah. See, talk about Stewie's gloves, you know. Yuri's got a pair of them, the exact same one. Oh. And even on Team Liquid, who else is it? Stewie's got them. Grim's got them. Twist has them. Is there any team you don't know that, what, like, is there any team, is there any player in the world that you don't know their whole entire skin set? Well, you know, I'm trying to make it a thing. Okay, yeah. You know? Counter trying to make it a thing. Win. There are some guys that, that still just don't rock skins at all, like a player like Sanji. I've got, like, a floppy disk of memory yeah. for how many players have <laughs> skins. You have, like, a friggin' SSD. Okay. Another good opening kill here by Stewie. It is just versus pistols. Move forward, we're moving forward into this round, there's... Only the Yuri on an AK. So maybe a way back into this half by winning a key round on that B-hole. Another should be freebie here for Team Liquid. A should be. Should be. Because a Yuri, well, he still has this AK. And look what he's done. Opened up shop inside of middle. Suddenly, there's a second weapon meant to be found here by Furia. They are kind of scrambling for it up on catwalk, but because of the smoke, they haven't gotten hands on it. Grim, he's going to catch a player at the top of the ladder. So we're already starting to watch Liquid recover somewhat. But Art does have the AWP, and he's evacuated with it down through the underpass. Suddenly, there's a world where Art brings this AWP up forward, and he could just get a straight-up duel versus Stewie. Man, he got that thing fast. <laughs> just ran up, ran up cat like it was Walmart on Black Friday. Grab that yeah. off. <laughs> Mine! <clears throat> Pushes Grandma to the ground just to get it. <laughs> Stewie 2K is going to miss his off shot. Pistol players starting to flood the bomb site, but it's kills coming in for Liquid until it isn't. Henny and Art with one apiece. 
45 seconds, and a liege. Well, he's got this back column, but if that rotate from Twist Hyper extends, it could be dead. The bomb's now been thrown down, and 69 health for Art. But this AWP's so valuable. Ooh, and he won't even get a chance to walk away. It's a leash to save the day. Team Liquid find a fifth. Mm, yeah, they grab it. It's a close call, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're so close to the end of the half now. They'll just take rounds wherever they can get it. A nice nice assistance here by Grim to scour back map control, and it was safe. Even though Art went ahead and grabbed this off, he disappeared. Like David Blaine in a magic, tri in a magic trick and, and got the hell out of there. Reappeared in the B apps to try to entry once again, and we'll see what the one of the final attempts on the T half will look like. We've got Case right out to mid. He's been holding largely by himself in these defaults. Looks like Stewie made the cat jump, so we'll get some good information there. That's the kind of information you can only get if you get the catch up, knowing they haven't crossed just yet. The leg plus the Molotov means they've got to fall back. Art also takes an op tag. Hopefully it won't be a tragic situation that they don't finish off these op kills, because Art is now in position inside the window. It is crazy. Stewie's gotten like six or seven op shots just through walls. He would have so many more kills. Yes, he's doing the damage, but I mean, he's giving Furia these little chances. Such a nice guy. It's got to be so damn frustrating. We'll see if it's still too much to handle. Twists finds Yuri. Vinny answers. He has been a threat out from Palace. Henny also able inside of Connector. But look at the HP. Look at the health here for Furia. Nearly non-existent. He's waiting and for even him. Even then, Vinny anticipates the peak from Twists. It's Grim and Stewie to try and close this. They, and they're they, on opposite sides of the map. But once that less, smoke fades. They have less total health than the, all of the remaining players. A little twitchy Grim puts the smoke out. Palace peak could cost him if he's not quite ready. But on this angle, is Case Serato going to be able to see it? He is playing with millimeters. And Art on the other side of the triple box. Grim, there's nobody watching this. He could walk right through. Oh, God. He's getting caught. He does emerge, catches Art. And then suddenly Stewie's looking to lend a set of eyes. 12 seconds left. Henny, he has no way to win this round, assuming Grim doesn't die. What? I don't know what's going on here. Kill him after time. Okay. Oh, and Stewie hits the headshot. And he's stolen. Big play by Grim. It's not every day you see Grimothy push a smoke. He's usually the player who is very comfortable sitting where he is, taking the duels, making sure he has his gun out because he is such a strong rifler. But here he is in CT, putting in overtime, pushing through the smoke that he threw down in front of Triple, outplays Art, outplays K Serato, and locks it down. That's a four on two situation brought back. And yes, it almost came to the situation where all of those leg shots from the ops shots almost meant nothing that a huge man advantage like that you don't know exactly how much left is left how much life is left on the other team it just can become overwhelming but what they just found out is they can win a 2v4 and again they did it by outplaying each of the remaining players and really just destroying the money for henny can't buy armor on this round and it's not like anybody can drop him anything because the rest of them are broke as well. He'll have to pick up a P250 here. Case Rado is just on a deagle. And Liquid have really brought this back, brought this, brought this half back from the grave. Going for the run boost to the top mid play. Art gets thrown over. Nothing to be seen here. Team Liquid absolutely giving up mid. Elise will be denied his vision. Just looks to play right on the cusp of it. Yuri and Art doing the same thing, but for Connector. Bomb's been picked up, so not wanting to double back. Don't forget, right, there's two pistol players still in the mix here for Furia. Elise crossing over, and Yuri's able to best him. Suddenly, this A site's in question because whether they realize it or not, there's a lot of bodies coming at them from mid. And suddenly, Furia are gonna scatter. Interesting. Do they want to test Stewie again? He has been an absolute rock for Team Liquid on this CT side in terms of his opping presence. Yes, he's gotten a lot of leg shots off, but he's also denied opening kills. They're coming towards him. The cat split might be too much to handle. Stewie, there's a lot of pressure on him in this moment. He sees the arm. He's yet to take a shot. 
Ooh, and he goes down empty-handed. Now it's Grim like a landmine from the back of the site. How much can he deliver? Only the one kill. Nap, ooh, catching a player on the cross, but it's immediately traded. So Twists is going to need something big to try and take back a seventh round for this CT side. It was looking like Liquid were in full control in the closing moments of the first half, but Yuri's gonna nail him to the wall of market. Furia, a three round lead and one CT side away from securing a spot at the Blastfall Finals. It was looking like Shadows of Inferno until suddenly Team Liquid pull four rounds in a row. And a lot of that impact in those four rounds caused by Stewie 2K. His sniper looked good on the defensive half of Mirage, but... Still for only a 6-9 half. Yeah. Giggity, giggity, all right. Hey. But I went back and looked at their head-to-heads, just went through every single one in the break and just tried to figure out where they land on Mirage when it comes to a 6-9 half, where Furia take a good, have a good T side. It's been all over the place. Sometimes Furia have had a 10-5 half. Sometimes they've had a 5-10 half and won it. So there's no telling how Liquid feel based on these results. I'm sure they're thinking about past performances to try to figure out what their plan is going to be on T side. Certainly, of course, the conversation leads us to it all starts with a pistol. If it is the case that Liquid have never won on Mirage versus Furia in all of their head to head from what we can see, dating back all the way to 2019, and they have played a number of times. So this will be, again, breaking new ground. We'll see how much that they've practiced Mirage as a whole um, in terms of fixing things, because coming out of day one, that was the clear, most problematic thing, and they have already made strides on it but look they like fury have already normalized their performance now because 
They've already shown that they can dominate Liquid on CT side, that they can do better than them, they can keep up with them at every turn. It's a challenge like Liquid has not faced so far in the tournament. Not since they've gotten here to Europe. We knew it though, man. I had a hunch. It's like, if we know Furia have anything, it's fantastic T sides. If Liquid had proven that they would held on to any part of their identity, it was those rock solid defensive halves. And then of course, with all the history between these teams, this is the matchup yeah. for a spot at the fall finals. I know there's a part of us that wants to believe that Furia can be figured out because of like their aggressive maneuvers. Like, oh, they've got a series of pocket plays, but if you've played enough against them, eventually you've got to be able to figure it out. But there's just so much more to Furia, actually. It just feels like when they're at their peak, they get away with these, you know, getting into window every minute, every single round, or, you know, Art pulling off these pushes that he always does, where it looks like he's not thinking very much. But on top of that, they do so much creative stuff on their CT side that sets them apart from the rest. They're incredibly hard to read. Even when I have the whole map to see, I can see, I, I have to wonder sometimes how they get their information. That proactivity we talk about, um, and their fearlessness, I think, really is what sets them apart and makes them this co consistent perpetual threat and what has helped them dominate the NA portion of the online era. <laughs> Lay it on the table. Lay it on the table. That's what Henny's telling you to do. You know, I was a little bit worried for Furio when we were watching them struggle in the uh, the first leg of the event in the in the fall series. series? Fall series. Um, because we had an interview with Furia at one point where they said like, yeah, man, we showed up to Europe and, and things don't feel as great. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're trying to maybe reinvent ourselves a little. And that right there, when I heard that sentence, right. reinvent ourselves, it's like what? I just, my heart stopped because I was like, dude, we just spent the last six months Figuring. watching you guys just destroy North yeah. America with what seemed like an unreplicatable kind of style when it comes to Counter-Strike. And yeah, yeah, you calculated that <laughs> one, huh? Unreplicatable. Replicable. Uh, unreplicable. Okay. Uh, then they came here, have a few struggles, and want to reinvent themselves? Yeah. It's like, no, don't let this go. This is what we were waiting for. You know, when Furia completely took over the top of NA, I remember we were all over there thinking to ourselves, like, man, I can't wait to go back to Europe and become the top one team in the you know world. This is, this is our region refreshed. But... Uh, it seems like they leaned back into what got them to the top of NA, and now it's working out, as it has every other time, essentially, since they've played Team Liquid. As we said, man, 10 best of threes in 2020, nine of them to the side of Furia. Getting closer and closer, one after another, but never with a win on Mirage. Team Liquid trailing by three, as the second pistol's underway. And they're gonna challenge Catwalk, which means they face Art. He throws his frag grenade through the smoke, and then he just jumps into it. Serato kills another T as Art switches places oh. with them. Serato the killer! Ooh. Those two headshots are disgusting. It's just like butter for your eyeballs, man. Serato, the smoothness. Those were some tasty peaks, man. Look at this. The business. He's on ice skates. Squeezes out, perfect shot on twist, another oh. one to come back in. He's just a rubber band. The rubber band man. God damn. And I like how Art is, again, he's already thinking one step ahead. He's like, I'm getting this kill and I'm pushing the smoke before he even gets the kill. Yep. Goodbye. Just Thanks for the appears. smoke. Peace out. Man, the absolute state of fury up. If there's one human being out of the billions of us that could probably teleport, it might be Art. Art yeah. Because sometimes that man just disappears. So hard to keep track of him in the mid-round moments. Run boost for Naf. Nobody here to hold it in entirely. They're just happy to stay a bit back from the frontier. Yuri committed in connector. Easy pickup versus Grim. Manages a second and a third, and even the fourth frag. Furia, 11 rounds to six, and they are feeling it. He says, pray to me. Pray to me if you want to live. Not that he would change his mind. This guy is a monster, an animal, a manimal. He has to pad the stats a little bit with the Glock farm. 
but he keeps his teammates alive. That's the most important part. Everyone's got a little bit of money left over in the bank because of Yuri's clean anti-force, anti-eco 4K. The AKs are out in this 11 to 6 score line. Liquid showing us what they can do now on the T side. Let's see what the establishing round looks like for them. Early mid control, Alicia to the bottom of mid, bottom of connector. Trying to make fast progress. There's no lurk here over in the halls or at A ramp. Art cannot control that Galil spray. Grim will be the man to punish him for it. So an opening kill, an opening man advantage. Team Liquid. Their 5v4 conversion stats coming into this series were at something like 85%. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it was excellent. it was really, really high. There's the stack on the A ramp, so it's Furia really hoping and praying that it's going to be an A site hit, but it's Liquid picking the cat to B split. And the only thing they can do at this point is waste too much time. They've picked the correct site, the flash comes out, and Naf is unleashed. He'll start clearing out all the angles, angles frantically, and then he'll realize that there's nothing to be worried about, not a CT in sight. And for Furia, they don't have any reason to move. Of course, always a great idea if, let's say, you have low guns or low numbers, 3v5 or a round like this, 4v5 with two MP9s. Instead of trying to play a very standard round in your own CT side and, and be a slave to rotations as Liquid, you know, or the other team might throw fakes and stuff like that, just go ahead for a gamble stack. It can be a great idea. You save the, ga the guns as a threat in the next round in a situation where you wouldn't be able to buy. You, of course, collect loss bonus here and uh, and if they do come towards your site, you've got a really, really heavily stacked site. And we can see right there, it's not that Liquid actually knew that much about B. They went and they cleared out everything. So in their minds, they're taking a small risk of their own by tr of their own by trying to run in there. But here's the the first situation. Grim, great flash dodge, honestly. I don't know if that was his teammates or one that came from over A site. It'd be weird if he dodged that way from over A site, but. Still really, uh, really good at kind of resettling his aim quickly. Slightly labored spray from both him and Art, though. You saw the blood gushing out of him. Yeah, it looked like Art tried to go for, like, two bursts or something. Yeah. Yeah, a bit awkward. So, Team Liquid on the board early to the T side. But obviously, four players saving for Furia. They're going to be fine here. It's as if that last one didn't even happen. Ooh, they're going to molly twist out. It looks like Case Rado doesn't even want to push. Oh, smart smoke there from Twist. Just Gets poofy away. enough that he can fall back. Surprised they don't go for the punish. Happy with the damage. Content to push them out. And Liquid effect effectively smoke themselves out mid. Furia go light on it, playing 2 2 to the sights. And look at, Twi or look at Liquid, or just assuming that something will be pushed, holding back. This is rarer to have a T watching A ramp and a T holding palace. They're just kind of spreading their bets. And it looks like pulling out something of a fake exec, but what does this net liquid exactly? Are Furia going to rotate out of A? It doesn't feel like it. One smoke per side of connector and art. Yeah, he's not going to respect that. He hits Cat before their additional utility plumes. Twist trying to find the entry, but he is also met by resistance. Case Serato's second kill through the side of the smoke. That's big. Elise is already inside of the site, though. Vinny's got his back turned, and that one's an easy pickup. Nap, the only player to find a kill this round. A total shutdown from Furia, just responding to Liquid with smokes of their own. We saw each of them on connector. Art peeks in. They tried to go for this cat smoke as well, but it just pops a second too late, and then this was a beauty from K. Serato, forcing Twist right into his crosshair, and then of course, because Twist is that far up, K. Serato knows there's players right there behind him. No way is Twist alone. Punches some shots through the smoke, and gets an additional kill. Very nice stuff from Furia. Everybody, a step in the head. A step ahead. <laughs> a step in the head, a snap of the wrist. <laughs> Um, yeah, information is king, right? And and Art knows that. And it's like, imagine you throw the you throw, throw this 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 totally uh, you, th you throw a detailed round with a default and a fake A, all for Art just to push your one key smoke and connector, get all that information back, and Caserato can just focus in on smokes, knowing the cat split is coming with certainty. 
Same situation to the last round, but instead of Art going in, it's a liege. I was probably hoping to catch him, but instead Art's eyes set to the window. But now that that's been smoked off, what's he going to do about it? A liege could just play the long con, hoping that eventually Art comes back in. But he's actually going to move to market as Yuri plays into closer ramp. In Case Serato, he's all the way up in halls, or is that Vinny in Case Serato's at, at get right, I guess? Yeah, Vinny behind the smoke, waiting to push. They're going to get the info early. Yuri here on the A ramp. Could be a liability. If it wasn't Yuri, I'd trust him less. Oh my god, he's so nuts. Beautiful. Third player comes in, third player goes out, and the fourth one's not for him. There is still a chance here for Liquid, but it's minute. 20 seconds left. Double peek from the CTs off of their spawn. Art, he's going to try to challenge, and the bomb's still not planted. Oh my goodness, Vinny's the man to give cover out from jungle. Furia on 13. He can't even plant. Man, and like, this is the other layer to Furia, right? None of this would be possible if any of them sucked. And if you can leave Yuri here in a position where you normally want to have two people to try to trade out versus an A-ramp hit like this, and you can just leave Yuri alone with no nades out at all, just one off angle, then of course you're going to look good. Now Team Liquid down into the economic despair. Four Desert Eagles, one P250, and a frag grenade thrown to the window for, what, nine damage? Chunk change. Art's got Grim slain. Team Liquid absolutely fizzling out to the ferociousness of Furia. Easy pickups to close this. They have double the round count of Team Liquid on, again, a map Liquid have never taken away from them. Amazon. This is par for the course. It's right. all in the history books. Yeah, lots of double-digit wins here. Um, or single-digit losses, I guess, for Liquid in this matchup. Now, the only thing that changes the stats a little bit is just that Grim hasn't been a component for Liquid in some of their matches that they played, but even with him, they've, they've lost. So, attack timeout is going to be called for Liquid. They attempt to figure out anything that they can do here on T-side. And listen, it's Mirage. They can entry their way back into rounds. It's not like Fury are going to do anything they're not ready for. It's just, can they stop them from getting away with what they know they're going to try? Art's air is trying to escape his headphones. He's got that mad scientist appeal. Well, Stewie carrying over a good first half into this one. And the most utility damage on the team. But at this point, it's just a, a greater problem than just one player. Kind of like it was on Inferno as well. Stewie's going to fly down mid, look for the entry. And Art, he's on cat this time around. Not in connector, not in window. <laughs> he's just sitting in the center of the smoke. Yeah. Sometimes it looks ridiculous, but... He's waiting for the... Oh my god, he, Art doesn't even... What? Wait, Stewie doesn't know either. Stewie's up top. He should be able to shoot him. Yes, he'll get the trade at least. This calls Vinny closer. Stewie's going to walk right into it, and that's a big pickup from Stu. Grim's going to immediately grab that bomb and go trudging through the apartments, trying to take the B site before any rotate can actually happen. And in reality, they should have this one easy. Yeah, they immediately group up for the attack. They've got the B site under lock and key. Stewie in the most powerful spot. Grim can have knife out and plant. No problem. Empty pillar is clean. No rotators here. Fury are going to give up this round. No problem. This is all about Stewie's next kill. Up cat into the site. That's the big one. That brings it to a, you know, a, a three on three situation. If that trade goes Vinny's way, I believe it was. Coming from Arch? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. One of the B players there. Down goes Stewie. Only three weapons to be kept by Liquid. Furia's money obviously perfectly fine. Vinny's over 10 grand. Art and Yuri within 6k, so... Screw hunting. Team Liquid need cash of their own. This well, is an eighth round of the board. Six rounds the difference. Furia two away from booking that spot at the Fall Finals. You know, this is the North American semifinals. Obviously, Mouse Sports versus Cloud9 up next. This one's not over, so don't look too far into the future. We've got Team Liquid able to come in with the rebuy. 
Let's see what they have in store for us. So far, this is their second T-round win. And we are seven rounds deep. So there's off up. It looks like Art's going to go for the cat jump again. Yeah, it's such a strong spot, of course, to go here just because you can see off the left side of the cat smoke and see if anybody crosses to top mid. He can hold on to this information. He's also conjoining efforts here with Henny, who has his off in connector. And I think it feels like they've got a lot of information there. They're going to now go for some more. Looking to get up into the B halls a little bit. How far will Art go? Liquid peel back off of this. This is interesting. They throw a Molotov down. They don't see a single player. And it looks like they're going to start to run in for the push. Liquid, their time... The clock is ticking for them to be able to get off this AXX if Art keeps on going. But he looks pretty comfortable in his spot, actually. That he does. Yuri behind the default. Full execution at the 52nd mark. I wonder if Henny's going to challenge because he's kind of cut off by smokes, but Yuri all alone trying to take behind Firebox. Can he lock in? No. Grim, immediate pickup. But there's a player just on the side of Ticket. That's K Serato. Looking for some spam damage. Stewie alleviating the pressure as he comes in from Connector. Team Liquid sink into the A site and convince Furia to fall away. Big plays. They cancel. They they go for that A hit. They got shut down hard by Yuri on the A ramp last time. This time, he's on default. And you've got to pick your poison, really, if you're going to play the A site that way. If you leave players in the site, they have to fight to the death, and you don't have an opportunity to retake. But if you only leave one, you really harm your chances of going for a retake. And, of course, there's a huge advantage to the players who are splitting through Palace and A ramp with all of their nades to smoke out the perimeter of the site, flash over, and isolate that solo player. Stu, any punishing the second frag means there's absolutely no chance they'll even go for it. And a clean round to bring them one step closer to this comeback. Nice opening from Grim. That's uh, one very important kill. It's actually Stewie at mid. I didn't even realize he had flanked that way. Fury will call attack timeout. So we go over the aggressive option that was used. It was the double op up on connector and cat between Art and Henny. Art comes off of cat, goes into B. They peak B but they hold in that position. No rotations come out. And again, it all comes down to Yuri on the site. What will change off of this tack timeout is the question. Looking forward to it. Maybe some more palace peaks. Maybe not just leaving Yuri in the site, but rather back on that ramp. You know, we saw him with the multi-kill hold. We'll see if any positions are adjusted. Team Liquid working with a near non-existent margin of error. A little boost up for Stewie. Three players on the A side immediately, and I see Yuri already closing this distance and getting closer to the ramp. The flashbang, Stewie tries to dodge it. Oh, he snaps into K Serato. A great readjustment from Stewie. He knew that hit was coming, and he took one with him. Grim also then makes the difference with a follow-up trade frag. Man advantage for Liquid. Tons of utility still to play off of. And a double op from Furia. Well, that's what they have to hold on with. They're going back into A. Henny's getting close to the A ramp to refresh position. As you mentioned, the two op setup. This can be a double-edged sword, of course. If Liquid spacing is really tight on this, then they should be fine. But at the same time, if they let Henny get a kill and fall out, they're in a very tricky position. Ooh, and he gets Grim first and foremost. And the smoke grenades, well, they're back beyond him. Henny, in these kinds of moments, is absolutely able to deliver. And Art, he jumps back to Firebox. The double ops pay off. Furia, 15 rounds. Three on four situation. The trades go down at the A ramp, but the re-aggression, the joined efforts of Art and Henny in another atypical CT setup, on the A site results in a victory. And again, it comes down to spacing. No one here to trade out Henny, and he hits this off scope flick. Alish looks silly flying through the sky to get across his screen, but it was the correct play. He absolutely hit an insane shot. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. Six map match points with qualification on the line. This round starts the same way the last one finished. With opping prowess coming in from Henny, 
He sees the trajectories of the grenade. He wants to knock him down a peg. He absolutely will. Being ripped apart by Furia. A three versus five to keep Liquid in this. And it's not happening. These two snipers have made a world of difference. And now Vinny's looking to lock it down. A minute on the clock for Naf. He runs desperately in. And Furia qualify for the finals. Congratulations to Furia. An outstanding performance. Having these two storylines come together has been a pleasure to watch. Watching them get better after they've entered into Europe, facing off against different competition, only to meet each other in another final. And for Furia, who looked even shakier than Liquid coming into Europe, I want to say, as soon as they got here, fixing their issues and starting to look like their old selves. And even though Liquid made some adjustments, had these outstanding CT side halves, all those stats have now been dampened by Furia's comebacks on these maps. This team to the fall finals does not look like the same one that begun the showdown versus Isaris with a map right. loss. Jesus. This team has improved in an incredible amount of time, as so many others have at this one event. Let's throw this one over to the desk as they